some patients find that technique of squatting down and trying to find where that chair is very frightening. And it really doesn't work for certain patients. They're not going to be able to squat down and back in order to find that chair. So for that patient, especially if it's a heavier patient, it's not going to work. You must use then <clears throat> what's called a bath transfer bench. And this is it. It's placed here. And the nice thing about it is it's like sitting on a chair. There's no squatting back and trying to find something that's far down and back there somewhere. It's just very straightforward. Tina, just come over here, please. And place your hand on the handrail. Actually, turn around. No, turn around and put this hand on the handrail. Uh, that's right. And then sit down. All right. Now slide back toward the wall. And let's swing the legs in. Patient needs help, you do it. So this is the safest technique for transferring into the bathtub. There is no stepping over. And this could apply to a shower stall as well. It's just very simple. Sit down, slide across, in and out. Coming out, the same thing in reverse. Slide over, bring the legs out <coughs> one at a time. <coughs> All right, this hand goes up on here. You would be here. Make sure the feet are spaced apart a little bit, not too far out because that will affect balance. And then stand up. And we're out. OK. <coughs> Thanks a lot. Um, well, what I do is I, it has holes in it that allow water to drain through. But it's always helpful to adjust it so that it tilts in a little bit. And that's what I always do. And you can raise <clears throat> this particular chair, though, can't be adjusted any higher on this end. So the choice would be to make it a little bit lower on the inside. And most of the time, because of the shape of a bathtub, one leg is going to have to be one notch higher than the other so they're even. You'll find that to be true. But you can have, you know, you can still have it then slanting inward by lowering it down a little bit on the inside. 